Very tall and it mostly comes in orange, the KTM 990 Adventure. Often you drive it standing up over rough ground. In 2003, the Model 950 rang in the two-cylinder area with the Austrians. Today, the 990 is considered as the off-road specialist amongst the high-volume travel enduros. Standing driving offers a good view. You can see obstacles such as potholes approaching better. Even when sitting, you have the adventure of traveling on the gravel well under control. Here, with Pirelli original tires, it really feels noticeably at home. What the name Adventure 990 doesn't tell you, there are actually 999 cubic centimeters of displacement available, pushing powerfully, especially in the mid-range. The huge 21-inch front wheel is ideal for off-road. Asphalt is no problem. Only when turning does the KTM have to be placed firmly into the curve radius. The bright orange fortress offers excellent wind and weather protection. The driver can keep his nose or visor relaxed in the wind and tour towards the sunset. Long distance comfort, however, is the domain of the most popular travel enduro in Germany, Europe and around the world. The BMW R1200 GS heads the enduro hit list in its home market as well as in almost all other countries. Its secret? It is comfortable and almost unassuming, mainly thanks to the easily maintained Cardin. KTM, on the other hand, holds ground with concentrated rough terrain know-how. 173 world titles, won mostly on rough profile tires, and countless victories in the Dakar Desert Rally. All marks of the typical orange painted large enduro, the huge 21-inch front wheel. Front and rear effective Brembo stoppers and enduro tires on wire wheels ensure excellent deceleration. At the rear, the luggage carrier signals practical benefits. The range of accessories for adventure is almost immeasurable. Front 21, rear 18 inch wheels give a characteristic appearance. The high wind shield protects against dust and dirt, and even at 217 km an hour top speed, it is very good against the wind. The V2 engine continuously improved since 2003, provides for sovereign acceleration. Thus, the KTM Adventure has made excellent progress. Everything under control, the cockpit seems functional and robust. Two tank nozzles open the way for 19.5 liters of fuel. In between, a convenient lockable compartment. A 12 volt mini plug is on board, so the GPS does not run out on the way to the nearest Oasis juice. The instruments in the digital to analog mix are easy to read the tachometer at the optical center. The best-selling BMW with typical duckbill optics can be recognized immediately. It offers somewhat more comfort. The onboard computer is operated on the handlebars. The asymmetric analog instruments would not win a prize for beauty, but for expediency. The information in the display has an extensive range. A wide, two-piece, height-adjustable seat for a passenger also offers long-haul comfort. Boxer engine and shaft drive still seem to be the benchmark for large volume enduros. But the competition never sleeps. In the home of BMW in Munich, KTM is enthusiastically looking forward to receiving praise for its version of a mix of off-road motorcycling and touring. In addition to street bikes, like the fun-oriented Super Duke, studded tired machines dominate the showroom at KTM Munich North. Hannah Schelbert looks forward to meeting numerous adventurous fans and knows their taste exactly.
we have yeah we've uh, got uh, customers who just want to take trips and they're the ones who want to have a comfortable uh, independent motorcycle that's uh, one customer group and the other ones uh, very interesting nucleus which is really really want an adventure or uh, as the name actually says and the right to go into the back country then uh, we even have some that go over the motocross track with the adventure and really jump there's also a regular locals table here in Munich and there are really tough guys there and the bike can do that too. There are many details. It has a very long displacement. It's a true off-road motorcycle which is also the focus of the entire design. And I can make a longer trip, so I can go with lower octane, I have the possibility to put a case on. The whole equipment is there, for example, so you can take a tour of South America, but also very, very nice to ride in the Alps. So it's a very wide application motorcycle. Can be widely used means the studded KTM has constantly gained popularity on the roads over the last few years. But at the same time, it has not lost any quality with regards to rough road riding. As before, it is the first choice for world travelers who are not afraid of loose ground, sand and mud. It now feels at home on asphalt in the meantime. To an erringly glide through the curves, however, it demands a firmer hand than some of its rivals. The sharp crackling V2 uses up to 7 litres of fuel with a relaxed driving style at least 5.5. The results at best in a range of 350 kilometres. Long haul is not its true strength that lies elsewhere. Since its premiere in 2003, the KTM 990 Adventure is the roughneck under the travel enduros. It's still receiving the off-road oriented approach, although the larger engine displacement in the meantime is more drivable. And also some of the features have changed. One of the peculiarities is, for example, that the KTM Adventure has a very narrow seat. The best argument against long-distance comfort, but it is more advantageous in the field, you can drive it better standing. Therefore, you have to make concessions in terms of comfort and equipment since they can never catch up with the best sellers such as the BMW R1200GS. But I think that their fans appreciate that and certainly the bike from Matikhofen in Austria puts every effort to maintain its character. It's not mass compatible, but it's still a very interesting alternative for the adventurous tourer. One does not need to drive standing when off-road to fully enjoy the KTM adventure, in spite of a not quite so low maintenance chain drive. Required additional care and spray only become really significant after a very long journey. The adventure is a true all-rounder. The KTM off-road focus has in the meantime now shifted towards the tarmac. Those who want to drive it all out can really have a lot of fun with it.